Good morning. It's six. I guess it's not that early. It's 6 30 a.m. This is pretty random because last night I decided, you know what? I'm just going to film a full day of eating, a spend the day with me, slash come with me to the gym. I don't know. A lot of you guys ask about doing like a full day, like spend the day with me and a full day of eating, and I'm like, I promise it's nothing crazy. I'm literally a homebody. I just work and hang out with my dog chicken and Z is actually up on the window right now. Let me show you him. Um, what are you doing up there? I'm also filming this for my Instagram, so I'm doing an ASMR. So I'm a little bit stressed just because like everything is just gonna take a little bit longer, but I just wanna chit chat with you guys, spend the whole day with you, show you what I eat, and yeah. So first things first, we knew it was coming. We knew we were gonna have hard boiled eggs for breakfast and then I used the Trader Joe's dill mustard. Unfortunately, it is seasonal, so I don't think you can get it anymore. Actually, let's, hello? Are you naked? Yeah. I'm literally vlogging. I'm sorry, Yeah, were you covering yourself? Yeah. Okay, good, I'm gonna have Aunt cut that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I just see like bright white little butt cheeks walk past and I'm like, is he naked? <laughs> no, that was really funny. Um... <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> Stop laughing, you're making me laugh. Thank goodness he was like covering himself. Anyways, I'm having hard boiled eggs. This is what I get from Trader Joe's. It is the best mustard in the entire world. I only have three left, so I'm hoping, I don't know when they come back, but I'm hoping it's soon because I love these. A girl did give me a dill mustard recipe on Instagram and actually, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna put it right here for you because I love this stuff. Anyways, so I'm having hard boiled eggs for breakfast, having my gut health from Beekeepers Naturals. I love these i've been using these since they send me these now and i do have a discount code code marissa 20 saves but i have been buying beekeepers natural since before i got a code so i was a customer first and i still am a customer like we still buy stuff for mitch anyways i take this every single day i love 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 it sipping on an alani i'm trying to be better about my caffeine intake so instead of having a scoop of like regular pre-workout in the mornings i've been searching so alani doesn't have a pump only so I've been using this brand called powders I've been loving the hydration packets and their pump pre-workout for being completely honest like I've tried so many pump pre-workouts and this one has been my favorite I've tried my protein I've tried transparent labs I've tried bum energy or like raw nutrition I've tried legion like your girl has been testing them out and so far this is my favorite one I don't really post much about it because like you know no one cares to ask but in case you were wondering this is my favorite one. And then I always, always, always take creatine every single day. I try really hard to also take it on vacation, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that, but creatine. I get lots of questions about creatine. Yes, I take it. I take it every single day. If you experience bloating, I would continue to take the supplement until your body can adjust to it. If your body does not adjust and the bloating does not go down within a couple weeks, I would stop taking it and just like speak with your doctor. I never experienced bloating, so I can't really speak on that, but I do know that there might be an adjustment period, like anything new that you're, you know, putting into your body, or if you're really sensitive and do get bloating easily, it is normal. Also, I've not experienced hair loss because I know that's another question I get a lot. I am going to eat these eggs, get ready for the gym, go to the gym. Mitch is actually running seven miles, so he's gonna meet me at the gym. I will see you guys at the gym. I think we're hitting, are we hitting back day or chest? We're hitting back day. Okay, love you. The lighting in this car is actually okay because it's kind of dark. Just got to the gym. Probably once I get into the gym, I will do zero talking because the music is usually so loud in there I can't talk even if I wanted to but secondly just copyright and so I will just like write my entire workout down 
on the screen as I go, but Mitch is still running. He's probably running for about another 40 minutes. So I'm just gonna go walk on the treadmill. I usually reply to DMs, work a little bit, respond to emails, and then I'll stretch until he gets done with his run. I really do like to get at least 30 minutes of walking in a day. I get a lot of questions about like my cardio routine, stuff like that. I don't like go run. I don't, well I do a couple times a week, like maybe one or two miles with Mitch if he's like, you wanna go for a run? But like once a week max, I will run two miles. Like maybe so probably every other week I run two miles and it doesn't necessarily need to be in one full 30 minute session but I try to walk like 10 20 minutes before my workout and then 10 20 minutes after my workout but regardless just try to get a total of 30 minutes of walking just because I know usually the rest of the day I'm sitting and working and I'm not gonna get that many steps in so yeah I try to hit like 10,000 steps a day I've been doing pretty good at it but yeah okay gonna go in reply to DMs walk on the treadmill and then we're gonna hit back day Hi, Pookies. Don't forget to wipe it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in the car. There's Pookie. He made the whole seven miles. And then we just hit back clearly. I just kinked my freaking neck in the gym. So now I'm like feeling very stiff, but about to go home. It's, it's Friday. So things are a little bit slower this morning and that is a-okay. We're about to go eat. I'm so hungry for some reason. Usually what time is it? Well, I guess it's 9.30. I guess we do usually leave the gym at like eight and I'm not hungry yet, but it is 9.30. I think that's why I'm so hungry today. You guys, not me. Oh my, I'm, I literally ate my food before I could show you. Oh my God. Why am I so bad at this? Okay, let me just show you what I had. So I, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'd be cracking myself up. So I had PB Fit, two tablespoons of PB Fit, and then I mixed in one tablespoon of chia seeds. I'm trying really, 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 really hard to 
get my fiber up. I've been breaking out a lot lately and I just did a little bit of research and like, I'm not like some psycho person who like, is just like testing out all these different diets, whatever, to like fix my breakouts but fiber is just something that you should be getting in regularly. It's very important. Mitch said the average fiber intake for Americans is 10 grams per day, and that I think we should be getting around 20 to 25, 30 grams. This, moving forward, I'm gonna really focus on getting my fruits and veggies in in every single meal, really trying to hit that fiber goal. So for today only, I am tracking my food to kind of see where I'm landing in that fiber range. And after pre-tracking my entire day, I'm at like 27 grams of fiber, which is really, really good. I went back into my fitness pal to like this time last year, tried to find like a random day where I had tracked. I was at like nine, nine or 10. And so um, I think my fiber intake has been so low lately because now that I'm a meat eater, I so I don't gravitate to now me running out of storage. As I was saying, ever since I started eating meat, I feel like I almost crave to have like chicken as a snack or just to nibble on it because I haven't had it in literally 10 years. I hope there's not chia seed in my teeth. And so like obviously chicken is high in protein, but it's not high in fiber. So my fiber, I feel like for the last three, four months has been so, so low. And that's kind of when like these breakouts started to happen because I have never ever been someone who like broke out a lot. So working on my fiber intake. Anyways, I digress. That kind of got way out of. So I made two servings of PB Fit with chia seeds. Chia seed, a serving of chia seeds has like five grams of fiber in it. Insane. And like three grams of protein. So just a little. Just a little tidbit. And then I had a banana and a cut up apple that ended up being really, really bad. It was a honey crisp and I love a honey crisp, but it was tasteless. So I threw that away and then I had like maybe a half cup, a cup of raspberries. And yeah, and so now I'm gonna have my greens. I'll show you my greens and my collagen before I actually consume it. But I was just so hungry and like me and Mitch were just like hanging out in the kitchen like talking and I just like ate it all and completely forgot to show you. So that's what I had for my post-workout like snack. Not that this is super exciting. Also, look how cute my glasses. There's little microwaves all over it. But, oh, I'm gonna have to drink this quick. Mm. Next, I have my greens. So I do drink Alani greens and I also drink Bloom greens. I drink both. One thing about me is that I feel like a lot of people online who are sponsored are like, I use all of these supplements from this one brand. And I get it, they have to, but like if we're being completely honest, like I enjoy supplements from several brands. Like I, Alani is probably my favorite, but Alani also doesn't carry some products that I do want to take. So if you're wondering why I'm kind of all over the place with supplements, that's why. So I did get sent these Bloom Greens. I ended up really, really, really liking them. The flavor is so good. With that being said, the Alani Greens, the flavor is also really, really good. So do what you will with that information. And then I'm also taking collagen. I'm gonna be honest, I've never taken collagen before. This is probably the before, maybe a week before I left New York, which was this past weekend. I was gone for a week. I was taking this for about a week. So nothing crazy. I don't really have a review yet on like how my skin appears, how I'm feeling, but it just says nourishes skin, youthful appearance, reduces lines and wrinkles. So yeah, I know a lot of people in my DMs take collagen. I've never really felt a need to, but I thought I would just try it and see how that goes. So in here are my greens and collagen. I don't know why I chose the worst and most boring day to vlog. Also, I have a pimple patch on, so ignore that. Also, I'm drinking another Alani. I do not recommend having two Alani drinks in one day. That's 400 milligrams of caffeine. Do as I say, not as I do. But I just wanna be transparent, like I am drinking this. So, bye bae. Anyways, as I was saying, it's Friday. It's now 11. I'm about to make a snack in probably 20, 30 minutes. I'm a big snacker. Like I said, it's Friday. There's really not much going on. Probably gonna go fold laundry. So you guys can come with me or you can just skip ahead, but like it's nothing. Bye. Do a time lapse, you folding laundry. Oh, okay, good idea. <laughs> not Mitch giving me tips and tricks. Okay, text me. 
Love you. He goes, do a time lapse while you're doing laundry. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll do a time lapse. Anyways, so we're gonna do laundry. We have so much laundry. It's by Pooks. Not me being so distracted right now. Okay, let's go do laundry. I changed. I feel like you guys, I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyways, next we're having a mental breakdown. Just kidding. I'm literally just kidding. Um, that's not funny. Um, I'm currently vlogging, look at me waiting for my toast to pop up. So we're having a little toast with peanut butter. The only reason why I did PB Fit this morning, so I love peanut butter, and if I could eat this entire container right now, I would, but that would be about nine million grams of fat later. So I'm gonna have two tablespoons, probably three tablespoons, one or one and a half servings of peanut butter right now. And wait, did I even finish my thought from earlier? The reason I used PB Fit earlier was because this has 16 grams of fat in one serving. And if I were to have six tablespoons of peanut butter before like noon, I would probably have consumed like 70% of my fat. Not that I'm like, oh, you can't have fat, but just like I try to stay in a specific macro group and like I don't wanna use all my fats up on this peanut butter. So um, I'm gonna have this and then I'm gonna put blueberries on top and sprinkle or drizzle some honey. I'm so excited. It's basically dessert. It's not, but like, oof, peanut butter with fruit and honey on a sourdough? You're telling me that doesn't sound amazing? Anyways, I'll show you once it's plated. Okay, it looks pretty boring, but like I promise it's so, hi chick, she thinks this is for her. I promise it is so good, like so good. The honey just does something. Mm. The sourdough? Oh my God. I feel like it's weird for you to be eating with me. I never know if I should eat with you or just show you my food. Mm. Where gonna go? My face is covered with peanut butter, so. Okay, so we've officially transitioned to the living room to do laundry. Let me show you. So we have all of this, we have this, We've got all of this. Hi chicken, a mirror that needs to be mounted. All of this. I don't know if you can see on the stairs, all of that. We've got a lot of work to do. I'm very thankful because I finished 99.9% .9 of my work for the week last night. So I have like two little projects I just have to like do some finishing touches on and then I'm done. So I can dedicate a lot, a good chunk of my morning to this laundry. But let me show you the laundry room. It's insane right now. I hope the lighting doesn't get all messed up. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, this is all of our Trader Joe's stuff that we have yet to film, but there's like not enough hanging space. I'm literally hanging bras over these drawers, hanging, drying, all clean, all clean, just needs to be folded. Hanging, drying, hanging, drying, more hanging, more hanging, like, I'm feeling very anxious. So that's why the laundry has not been getting done very quickly is because of like absolute shambles. Ugh, this is why I hate traveling and then I leave Monday. So I'm gonna have you guys watch me fold laundry to help motivate me to get this shit done. Stay there. Okay. I'm so stressed out. Nami almost eating my dish without even like filming it. That's lunch. While I'm filming this video, I see a bush outside start shaking like crazy. And I'm like, what's going on? I see microwave fly out of it. I'm like, oh my God, he has a chipmunk. I run outside to save this poor chipmunk. Can't find him, but I hear the chipmunk screaming. I'm climbing through the ferns like, microwave, let him go. 
can't find them anywhere. But that was my excitement for lunchtime. Now I'm eating lunch. I have in this bowl turkey. I haven't, no, is it ground turkey? Ever since becoming a non-vegetarian, this is my first time having ground turkey, not ground beef. So honestly, it tastes the same to me. I think it's honestly a little cheaper too, which is kind of nice, like per pound. And then I have avocado, sweet potato that I just microwaved, and Dijon mustard on top. I will say, usually I do have a meal prep, but I got home on Tuesday from New York and I leave on Monday for another work trip. And it was just pointless to do an entire meal prep for such a short amount of time. So Mitch and I just kind of bought, bought a smaller portion of bulk ingredients, like a bunch of beef or turkey, a few sweet potatoes, a few avocados, um, some packages of chicken and just cooked like three to four days worth. Um, so yeah. That's what we're doing. This is so good. Mmm. I feel like people online think I'm gross for eating ground turkey, sweet potato, avocado, and mustard, but it is such a good combo. So I feel like it's kind of good that I don't vlog while eating because I eat. Oh my God, not me having the attention span of a squirrel. Yay, my Lyft New York vlog is ready and can be viewed. So I'm gonna watch that later. What was I saying? Oh, so I'm really glad that you guys don't watch me eat because, um, it's I I don't I'm not a lady when I eat like I do not chew I do not like I just swallow that sounded so inappropriate but anyways so I'm going to now and I do not recommend this at all by any means like do not do this I think it's so terrible for your skin but I'm going to a tanning bed this is the first time I've gone this year I, I have really good color right now but basically for this work event that I have on Monday I'm gonna be doing a lot of shooting and a lot of like photos and um, I just want to like make sure I keep my glowy glowy tan so I'm just gonna go to the tanning bed one time and just like you know make sure I keep a little bit of my color but I do not recommend like do not like I don't think one time this summer will hurt but like I'm a self-tan girly. I always self-tan, except just this one time because I'm gonna be taking so many photos and video. I don't wanna have the splotchiness that like self-tanner can give you. So we're gonna go do that. I just pulled up to the tanning place and as I was driving here, it started raining and I'm like, my mood makes sense now. I think I know why I've been struggling today. And I hate that like of all days that I decide to record, I'm feeling some type of way. Like, I don't want you guys to see me like this, but Yes, I'm drinking Alani. Yes, it's 2.47 p.m. But I also feel like I had a few girls DM me from this past weekend who were like, it's so good. Like, obviously, we're not happy that you're feeling stressed and, like, tired. But, like, we're happy to see that, like, you struggle as well. You know what I mean? Like, without, like, when I'm out of my routine... I lose it. I spiral so bad and like these girls were like I'm the same way and it's just like really good to see someone who you know 99.9% .9 of the things you post you're like in a good mood you're like having the time of your life like things are going great so instead of like not vlogging the day I'm gonna just stop being a little complaining bitch but also like I just want you guys to know that like it's not always you know rainbows and butterflies and sunshine over here like I do struggle a lot like it's so normal if you don't struggle I think I'm a little bit concerned also my lips feel very dry don't look at them but another thing not me just dropping this on you I did just sign up for therapy last night um I'm gonna start when I get back from my work trip next week is this weird like I feel excited not excited like I I, I don't know why I'm excited, but I just feel I'm just excited to like learn more about why I do the things I do and like why I think the way I think and like how to more easily process those like emotions, feelings, actions, if that makes sense. Like to just understand why I'm behaving the way I do. Not that I behave like crazy, but like my mind. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I feel like there's always like this like people never want to admit that they go to therapy but like yeah so that's that not me just dropping that on you it's not that it's not that deep like it'll be fine i'm just yeah we'll 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 talk about more of that later um but okay i'm at the tanner now and these two girls were just chit chatting and then they like jumped up when they saw my car pull up to like go back to work but i'm like sitting in my car so i'm gonna go in now i'm gonna whisper because i don't want them to hear me but i decided to do like a red light cute 
I've been going through it, so I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to like a little red light session. I just made dinner. It's a little bit early, but I'm trying to eat like less late in the day. So like my dinner gets pushed up a little bit and then I'm gonna have my Ninja Creamy probably in like an hour or two. But can you see this? It's a, not me blanking and forgetting what it even was. It's a salad kit from uh, Target because you guys know if I were to try to make my own salad, every single ingredient would go bad. And then some cooked chicken and the secret ingredient is um, cottage cheese. It's not a secret. We all know I love cottage cheese, but I just made this. Mitch came home early. Um, I just got back from the tanner and then as you saw I did red light too which was so relaxing. I know you guys saw how anxious I was like sitting in the car waiting to go in. So I just felt so much more relaxed after that and now I'm gonna eat and then Mitch and I are actually gonna go shopping because he needs some more work clothes. Um, so I think we're gonna go to like Banana Republic and stuff. Look what's going on. Like, <laughs> what are you two doing? Do you see this? This is her begging. And yes, I'm eating on the couch. <laughs> Yum. Why are you begging, huh? You're slow eater. Oh! Chick. She can lay there. She's Say hi, Pookie. Hi. <laughs> we did, in fact, finally make it to Eastwood. There's a really, really, really long line outside of Apple. I don't know why. Is there a new iPhone, did you say? Maybe. That has to be it. Anyways, so we made it here, and honestly, like, I don't even want anything. I'm I'm shocked. Usually I'm like, let's shop till we drop, let's spend some money, but I literally don't want to be here. I don't want to watch him shop. What's it has it, to happen. What do you even need? I just need, like, some casual clothes for work. Casual clothes for work. And it's for, always like, for our, work. And for, like, our trips. Our trips. For your work. <laughs> so he just wants fun clothes okay unfortunately we don't have an Abercrombie nearby but I feel like that's where we would go shopping for him if we were really serious about it but right now we're at Banana Republic so one shirt's gonna cost $145 we might go over to the gap <laughs> <laughs> Banana Republic is so expensive for what let me see what else there is American Eagle Urban Outfitters should we get dinner? Oh, we're locking in, are we? We're locking in, we are. Okay, let's go in to the Banana Republic before I say turn the bus around and we go home because I'm like struggling to go into the store. You ready, Pooks? No. <laughs> You're the one who wanted to come here. I know. All right, get in there. Don't tell me to get in there, dude. <laughs> I hate shopping. I'm taking Pookie on a shopping spree. Don't call it a spree. <laughs> Just a sugar mama doing her thing. <laughs> Pookie, you can choose anything you want and I'll buy it for you, baby. <laughs> Babe, these pants scream your name. It's slacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think that would help what we got going on here. Here, poops. <laughs> He's getting shy. Anything you want, baby, is on Don't be shy. We got all these shirts. Fit check. I look really bummy. Mitch is trying out a bunch of stuff and we're gonna go get someone to open the door for us. What are you doing? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Okay, I'll just wait out here. Pookie's too thick. Turn it around. Thick, I've got tiny legs. Okay. Yeah, they are a little tight. Okay. <laughs> Um, what size are those? These are 32, 34. So I'm trying to get 33. 34. Okay, I'll go get those. 
I've had two of the, well, this is my second one. These are the electrolytes I was telling you about. I absolutely love them. They're from powders. The reason I love them so much is because typically like hydration packets are like really, really high sodium and little to no potassium. And Mitch was basically teaching me that, well, obviously I knew this, but like as America, America as a whole, we get a lot of sodium. Like we have no issue getting our sodium intake up, but um, which, usually we aren't consuming enough potassium so when you're taking these like electrolytes you don't need more sodium basically and so this has a the sodium to potassium ratio wait will you explain this better mitch i'm butchering it this has a good ratio of sodium to, to potassium yeah um so this has 550 milligrams of sodium and where the heck is the potassium? I think that has about 300 or 350 milligrams of potassium. Oh yeah, 311 milligrams of potassium, which like other brands like LMNT, Element, they have like only sodium, which like can actually end up dehydrating you if you're not having enough potassium to supplement and offset that, if that makes sense, so. It's all about the sodium potassium pumps in the cells. Exactly. So that's why I really, really, really like this on top of the fact that it tastes really good. And then we also have our Ninja Creamy. This smells so good. This past week I decided to use um, cheesecake or I think Oreo cheesecake pudding mix. So I did that with a with like a Alani Frosted Flurry protein powder. And then I just, we were all out of like our chocolate chips and Oreos. So I just did um, strawberries as an add-in. I think this is roughly, you know, probably 300 calories, little, like probably one or two fat, under 10 carbs and like 40 grams of protein. So we love her. Mitch and I are gonna eat that, finish washing this you can have one sip. Finished watching this podcast I was on, um, Thinking with a Pump with Luke Elsman, Brody. I don't even know his last name. I think his username is Brody Shreds. We all know Brody. And then Annabelle Lucinda. So me and Mitch are watching that back because we f I filmed that with Annabelle last Tuesday and in New York. And then it just came out the other day. So we're Mitch is watching it for the first time. And I'm reliving it. But I think we're going to go to bed after. What time is it? 7.41. We're exhausted. It's been a really long week and we're just going through it. So nothing too exciting here. I know I said spend the day with me, but like we didn't do anything. So yeah. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see like more full day eating slash spend the day with me slash whatever, please let me know. Okay. I love you guys so much. Bye.